Next, let's work on the roofing for our apartment. For this, we're also going to be using the modeling toolkit. So I'm going to click on a box here and place a box right here on the corner. Now, rather than dialing in the exact numbers, we're going to instead use the poly edit mode, which is going to help us design a roof exactly the way we want it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can use poly edit mode to, you know, modify faces, edges, or even a single vertex. In this case, I'm going to click on this face up here and then move it down to the exact thickness I want my roof. Then click on the face that's pointing towards the x-axis and then click on this red line and drag it out like this. And again, because snapping is on, our pieces will line up perfectly. Then we click on this piece over here and then click on this green handle and drag it out to create our roof. And just like that, we've created a roof for our apartment that lines up perfectly. Again, even the front here, if you want it to line up perfectly, you can get it sitting exactly like this on top of your apartment. After clicking accept, we're going to go ahead and project again, but let's go first assign some texture to this. So click, you know, I've used a brick texture over here. We'll click project and then reset everything and then click accept. And just like that, you've created a roof for your apartment. Now, it'll become very difficult to work inside your apartment. You'll end up almost going inside every time. So I recommend clicking on this eye icon over here. That way you've hidden your roof. And before you render, when you play your game, the roof will then be visible because this um, sort of hide visibility is only for the editor. Next, we're going to add a small table to our environment because where is this person going to eat? Now, there's no small table in the Edith Finch kits, so we're going to use the Quixel Megascan library for this. The Quixel Megascan library is a collection of high quality assets that you get for free to use with Unreal Engine 5. Now, previously, you had to download Bridge as a way to interface between the Quixel Megascan library and Unreal Engine, but now with Unreal Engine 5, it's part of your user interface. All you have to do is go to Window and open Quixel Bridge. And this will open up Bridge for you. You may need to sign in again with your Epic Games account, but after you do that, you'll get access to all these great assets and materials for free. Now over here, I'm going to click on the search bar and search for table. Now over here, you can filter out for all the results that you've got here by surfaces, decals, imperfections, or 3D assets. We're going to click on 3D assets over here. And we're going to use this small wooden table. When you click on an asset that you want, it gives you more details about the asset on the right here and lets you choose the quality that you're going to download. I recommend you start with low and medium because if you use nanite or high quality meshes, lots of these in one particular environment will lead to a performance drop in the editor. So we don't really want that. I'm going to use low. And if you haven't downloaded it, I've already downloaded this before, but if you click on medium, for example, you can see that I have not downloaded the medium version of this table. So there's this green download button here. When you click on this, it's gonna start downloading and when it completes, this download button changes to a check mark and then you can add this by clicking on this blue button over here. When you click on this, it's going to add it to your project and all of your mega scans are going to live inside your content folder underneath mega scans and then depending on what asset you downloaded, it's going to be in a folder underneath this. So in our case, we downloaded a 3D asset a wooden table and you can see here we've got a material all the textures and this light blue line should by now indicate to you that this is a static mesh and you remember with static meshes you can simply drag and drop them in the scene like this now our table is a little small so to figure out the scaling of this table i'm going to go back to our edith finch kits filter for static mesh and search chair you can see we've got this wooden chair here and i'm going to use this wooden chair as a way to measure how much I have to scale up this small table by. So again, locked scale here, so we scale all three together. And I'm just going to scale this up to about 1.5 like this. I think this should be okay. In fact, maybe just a little higher here should be okay. In fact, I think 1.75 should be okay. So now we've got a small table from the Quixel Megascans also in our library, in our uh, environment over here. So again, we put a chair here. If you want to put two chairs, that's also okay, but I think one chair is fine because this will start getting too cluttered over here, right? So we have a chair for our, um, our whoever lives in this house to eat on and use this table for anything else. But again, one thing to remember when you're designing your environments, try to avoid, you know, building things in clean lines here. Put the rotation snapping off 
and just offset your table a little, a little bit because everything in the real world has a sense of randomness to it. This will just give your environment a little bit more life when you're working with it. So with that done, we've got a small table and a chair. You can even go in and put more assets on this table, maybe a plate, maybe some of the food cans there. Maybe there's a food can that's already on the table here. Right, so you can go and have more fun with dressing up this table. Maybe that there's a bag underneath here, over here. But yes, with the table added, you now know how to use the Quixel Mega Scans. Additionally, just as a uh, additional piece of information here, you can also use materials from the Quixel Mega Scan. So, for example, if I search brick wall here, so like just bricks, and if I go to surfaces, you can see there's a ton of these amazing surfaces that you can use, and the techniques all stay the same. So, for example, if I you know go for maybe tiles for our bathroom. So let's say surfaces. And let's see if there's a nice surface that fits our bathroom tiles here. This seems quite interesting. So if I click on this, for example, or even uh, this one over here, right? So you can choose a material that fits, download it. So I'm just gonna click on the download button here. This is gonna start a download. And then it gives you a material that you can drag and drop on any static mesh. So once I've added it to my project here, everything remains the same. So I can just go and drag and drop that on my bathroom tiles like this. So very easy to use and all the techniques remain the same. So with our roofing complete and us now being able to use Quixel Mega Scans in our project, it's time to start working on the lighting and general polish of our environment.